There are Sarasota towards so many different interests. It's one of the reasons why people are choosing to move to Sarasota. There's truly something for everyone here. What we're going to do today is explore different neighborhoods. They cater towards very different interests and lifestyles. And let's get started. Siesta Key. So if you're somebody that loves going to the beach, you want to consider living in Siesta Key. Siesta Key is a berry island of Sarasota and there's three beaches. Most likely than not, when somebody thinks of Siesta Key, they're thinking of Siesta Key Beach which is the more popular of the three beaches on Siesta Key. But there's two others, and those are Crescent Beach and Turtle Beach. On the island is a cute village that people go to in order to eat, shopping, there's bars there too. It's very lively. From a property perspective, there's different options. Villas right on the waterfront, their homes right on the canal, your single family homes in small, cute little neighborhoods, apartments, condominiums, it really depends on your budget and what your interests are. Palma Ranch. Palma Ranch is definitely for those people who are looking for resort style living or golfing community. So Palma Ranch is the largest Sarasota master plan community and sits on 6,000 acres. It's centrally located in Sarasota. It's close to Siesta Key Beach, just 10 to 15 minutes away by car. It's close to shopping. It's close to the Legacy Trail, which is a biking trail that runs from Sarasota to Venice. There are three golfing communities that are really well known in Palma Ranch, Prestancia, the Oaks and Stony Brook. When you drive through Palma Ranch, you'll notice how well the landscaping is done. It's a really clean area, a lot of mature trees, a lot of green, a lot of nature, different home styles in Palma Ranch, from condos to single family homes to villas. Golf Gate. Golf Gate is for those people who are looking for single family homes but on a budget. Golf Gate dates back to the 1960s. You mainly find here single family homes, ranch style, one floor. Some of them have fenced in yards and typically have large enough properties to build in a pool in the backyard if there isn't one already there. There are homes that have been updated in Golf Gate, but there's still opportunities to purchase original homes with the intentions of updating later. Golf Gate is adjacent to Palma Ranch and it's centrally located in Sarasota. It's close to Siesta Key, it's close to shopping, it's close to activities. And in Golf Gate is a cute neighborhood with restaurants, bars, coffee shops. Southgate is in a central location in Sarasota, close to downtown, close to the Siesta Key Beach, and is perfect for somebody who wants to be in a deed restricted community, but non-gated. There's over 2,000 homes here. There's about 40 different kinds of deed restricted communities in this neighborhood. The benefit of being a deed restricted community is that it ensures a certain look in the neighborhood. The homes here date back to the 1950s, a lot of them have been updated. They're mostly ranch style, have you know the lower types of ceilings. And I would say the starting price could be anywhere from four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars, depending on how many upgrades a particular home will need. Arlington Park is centrally located in Sarasota. It's closer to what's downtown, and it's a non-gated, non-deed restricted community. Arlington Park is a bit similar to Southgate in that there's a lot of mature trees around. It's an older community. There are a lot of newer homes that have been developed here over the last few years. You have fixer uppers, ranch style homes, just a little bit of everything. What I like about Arlington Park is very similar to what I like about South Gate, which is you got lots of trees around, and kind of has that old Floridian style to it, but there are also newer bills. So this neighborhood here has a city-owned park, which includes a pool, tennis courts, there's a dog park there, an outside gym. And for the exception of the swimming pool, everything else is pretty much free. Laurel Park. Laurel Park is for the city dweller looking to live in a single family home. Laurel Park is so cute, so charming, so eclectic. When you drive through the streets of Laurel Park, it still has kind of that old Florida charming feel to it. Now, it dates back to the 1920s and it's actually considered a historic site. It's been listed in the National Register of Historic Places District. Many of the homes in Laurel Park have been updated, have been renovated, but you'll still find a lot of the original homes from the 1920s that have gone through minimal renovations. Now on the outskirts of Laura Park, they're building 
more modern looking units. But overall, the feel of Laurel Park is still, as I mentioned earlier, kind of that old Florida charming feel. Because Laurel Park has a high walkability score, so it's really close to all the great things downtown Sarasota has to offer, such as the Bayfront Park, the uh, restaurants, the bars on Main Street, Selby Gardens, theater. This area has become really sought after over the last few years. It's reflected in the real estate prices. Southside Village, which is for families that have a higher budget. It's in a neighborhood called West of the Trails. Southside Village is really close in walking distance to Sarasota Memorial Hospital. It's close to restaurants and bars in the desirable Morton's Gourmet Market. When you look at the home styles in this neighborhood, they're in a non-gated community in beautiful tree-lined streets. And here you'll find ranches, Spanish-style homes, and extremely modern-looking homes. The home prices don't come cheap. There's plenty of other neighborhoods in Sarasota that you should explore. This is just to provide you a little bit of guidance based on some of your lifestyle needs and interests, but I always encourage people to do their own research. If you have any questions, you can always touch base with me either via email. You can send me an email to this email address over here, or you can call me 917-543-8560. Always here and available for any questions you may have or any concerns you may have. Leave me a note below and let me know if you enjoyed this video. 